Oh, we have a lovely warm morning here. And what I want to talk about today is why people get themselves in a muddle when it comes to Amish and bonding. Because most people think of a training method. Something you do for 10 minutes every day or even half an hour every day as being when you train your dog. Well, it, that's not AB at all. That is nothing to do with AB. What Amish and Bonding is about is living your life in a calm and peaceful way. One where the dog really knows where it's, uh, it's supposed to be, what you want of it. Never trying to guess all the time what's, what's happening now, what we're doing now. So this, on this typical morning, Jess gets seen to first. And then I come back to the house where I can see my dog is. What are you doing over there, sweetheart? She knows I go down there. We talked about the consistency and stability and the calm. But people mistake calm for being bored. Well, no. Why should we be bored? Because we're calm. You know, you don't have to be off the scale to be everyday crazy. So now I fill the bird feeders. That's my second job. And then we have our breakfast. That's, that's the third. But what I'm getting at is that Amish and Bonding is not a training program. It's really doing the complete opposite. When you think of most training programs, they actually cause the problems that you experience, which we're going to as we go through these different explanations. So. Honey knows where she stands. She's not bothered. Completely, completely calm and happy. And so now I'm going to do the bird feeders and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we have the bird feeders done. I don't mind, but they stand on the plant rails and shout at me. They say, come on, come on. So, when I say Amish and Bonding is not a training method, it isn't. It's a way of living your everyday life. Remember, whatever manners or attitudes you have at home, you're going to take out into the big wide world. That's why most people have problems out there, because it's chaos at home. They might not want to admit it, but the first thing you need to, to do when you want to do Amish and Bonding is be honest with yourself. Not with me, because I live a peaceful life. So now we have Honey laid. As she does, waiting for me to do this, because she knows the routine, she's quite calm, but today is Tuesday and the bin men are due. Now, how can you train for that? You don't. You just put in, yes, I'm talking about you, aren't I? You put in the system that covers that when it happens. Not, oh, I'm not going to train the dog now, it's going to be half past eight. No, there's no sign of the bin men yet, but... That doesn't mean to say I'm going to stay out here till they come to train her. I'm going to live my life. What happens now for Honey and I is that having earned it, in my case, the birds come in. They're so fast, aren't they? Once the feeders are up, they're away. But, oh, there's a squirrel. He's on the fence. Now, he's living a dangerous life. This is, this is it. Life happens. Life is what happens when you're making your plans. So the next stage in our morning is always this. Honey, breakfast, darling, breakfast. Now she knows what breakfast means. She's not going to charge to me obediently. Not. That's not what we're about. When we're working, or I need her to work tight, that's fine, but she's coming. She's coming steadily, <laughs> you good girl, happily. You see, this is my point. People get so uptight and want everything urgent, urgent. That is not real life, is it, darling? Okay, honey, breakfast. Come on, then. Breakfast. Yeah, she knows what's coming now. And I will stop filming because that's what she's going to have. No hesitation. Get her brekkie. Come on, love. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. That's the other thing with AB. You're always telling them they're good because they are. You can praise a dog when you've got it right, because then they get it right. Another thing, when I, when I give her a food and there's no making her wait or any rubbish like that, I will explain why that is actually confusing and detrimental to everything you want to achieve. But with breakfast, I just put it in the food in the bowl, 
bowl down and move away. Now, if you are working with gesture eating, which may be new to you, gesture eating uh, is part of Amish and bonding, then this is the sort of distance you're going to give your dog. Give it the piece to eat in private. You and I know we don't like people hanging over us when we're eating. Now, she's going to come and look at me quite simply because with breakfast, we have a little something else, don't we, darling? And again, I'm not going to tease her. She knows what comes next as I do. So onto her, into her bowl now, she has a drop of milk. Not a lot, but that's the morning routine. She doesn't have the same in the evening. So it's just a morning thing. We can carry on our day and later on we'll be going out, probably in the car with the soft top. She does love that. She'll stick her head up and you know, take the breeze in her face. So really, you know, because you're living a calm, stress-free life, doesn't mean it's boring or bad, quite the reverse.